Yo, what is up, YouTube? Hello, guys, it's me, Stormy Z here, back in the getting with the Witches Realms YouTube video. Hello, guys, it's Friday. You guys already know what time it is. It's summoning time, guys, but not for me, not for me. It might, it might be for you guys. If you guys are looking for Brokir or Valeria, it's a 15x rate up designated hero for them right now. I will be saving my shards. I don't know what you guys would be doing, but I'm gonna save up, guys. I'm gonna be saving up. I'm stocking up a lot now. I uh, usually I would just spend every single week, but since it's just been reruns, I already have these champions, and I want newer ones and to collect new ones and collect the one I don't have. I will not be going for this banner, but we're saving up, guys. We're saving up big. We're saving up strong. I also got hella gems as well, guys. I my stash right now is looking good. It's looking good. I'll tell you that much. We're gonna get the limited hero when that comes out and then there's also a 2x going on there's the divine summoning stuff going on but these shards sucks guys these are just absolutely trash but not gonna lie guys i've been thinking right it's crazy because i've been playing this game for over 400 days and if you guys want to improve here it is i've been signing in for a total days of 406 days so it's just been kind of like I, I want to say repetitive, but I, I don't know if that's the word for it. So in today's video, I'm asking myself, what is next? What is next for me with the war journey? I, I'm i still doing my events and tournaments every single day. My goal is just try to complete the milestone to get the max rewards every single week. I, I, I'm still doing that, guys. I'm still doing that. I'm leveling up heroes, which is pretty hard now because all my heroes are max and I have no more heroes to upgrade. So this, I don't know what I'm gonna do with Corridor of Glory, to be honest. Tells the Smith, I always, it, it just came today and I finish it instantly. I always do it. I upgrade gear, I have a lot of gold. We do that. We do the these events like Lucky Roulette or like the, the darts or like the knives event. I, I do them, I do them and um, I just make sure I finish everything, you know, to be efficient as possible. But what is actually next, guys? Like, what am I actually looking forward to in this game? So the number one thing that I enjoy the most about Watchers of Realms is collecting heroes, guys. And if you guys have been following me for a while now, I have not cleared all the gallery yet. I'm 170 out of 200, so there's 30 heroes that I have not collected yet. And I'm, I don't think I'm ever gonna be collecting them all. The thing is though, guys, I would love to get these heroes, but I feel like if I do end up getting all these heroes, if I even do, by the way, which is pretty hard, pretty pretty crazy, because most of these are ancient exclusive. But if I do end up getting all of them, I'll have one less reason to play once I have them all. So I'm kind of scared because I really like Watchers of Realms, right? And if there's one less reason for me to play anymore, then it's gonna feel like, man, what am I even doing, you know? It just sucks. The other reason why I like to keep playing this game is the guild system and the co-op right now. So right now, there's a the guild boss, the daily guild boss, and then there's the weekly titanic runes that came out recently. And this is, this is cool, you know, this is great. Uh, this is also Guild Wars is a cooperative thing where you have to plan your attacks. You do attacks, you get attacked. At the end of war, you win, you lose, you get rewards. And I, I think that's great. I think that's awesome. But I think they need to add some more co-op stuff. You know? There's actually a video that I made yesterday. If you guys did not see that yet, I made a game design contest thing where I came up with an idea for a new game mode. And I think that would be so much more refreshing, guys. Going against like players live it's, it's just crazy if you guys haven't seen that video yet please go and check that video out i think it was a really really good made i spent a lot of time on it but yeah guys this video is kind of just like a rant sorry if the content is kind of different today guys i just wanted to tell you guys how i actually feel and what's been going behind the scenes right now i like i've still enjoyed the game yes but like it's been a little bit repetitive these past few days and uh I'm, I'm looking for something to change i still need to do this epilogue yes i'm still too lazy to do this epilogue the last time i tried it i couldn't do it but ever since then i haven't tried it again it's just a little boss guys it was pretty stupid because you have to like meet a threshold every single phase and i feel like this stage specifically it needs it requires so much gear and it requires the specific hero that's bs i probably have the hero needed now but still not gonna do it guys i'm, I'm bored well, what is it gonna give me it's gonna give me like one one engine shard what is it um and it's just gonna give me a rare anyways honestly i i don't know guys i don't know what there is uh please let me know down and below 
am I burnt out? Am I, what's going on? But yeah, guys, I just wanted to share my thoughts. But before I end this video, I wanted to go over my community post I posted a couple days ago. It's a, it was a poll. Let's get to that right now. So about a day ago, I sent out a community poll, guys, and it has 315 votes. It's actually pretty crazy, actually. And the question was, which of these heroes is the most annoying to go against in Arena and why? And I, I have here, we have Praetis, uh, we have Hatsut, we have Ingrid, which is the popular choice there. And then we have the Valderon, the chaotic monster that everyone scares, guys. I'm scared of him. I, I'm terrified of him, like, honestly. But obviously, as you can see, as the percentages, 67% of the 300 votes said Ingrid. It's a very understandable. Ingrid is just so damn overpowered. I think she's, like, just so broken. I saw someone compared her to like the pre-nerf Boreas and they claimed how Boreas was less worse than Ingrid. Like they said Ingrid was even worse than pre-nerf Boreas, which is crazy. Ingrid is just like the talk of the town right now. Ingrid is just a crazy beast. Pretty broken, overpowered, not gonna lie. So that makes sense, the percentage. Then we have Hatsut and Praetis with the same percentage, guys. What's crazy is, Praetis is not really, uh, his skills is okay, but what's broken about him is the hammer thing, the, the passive skill. I don't know what it is because I don't have him yet, but it's crazy, guys. It's crazy. Uh, this hammer skills, he, you press the hammer, and it just lightnings down any enemy on the battlefield. It's just crazy. Praetis is broken. And then we have Hatsut here, low cost, high AoE damage, insane burst damage you guys already know what Hatsut is and then Valderon guys the fighter the legendary fighter himself he's actually pretty broken i'm terrified of him like i said he just one shots the single target enemies so we have here guys six comments right we have six comments the top comment right now they said in single target arena Valderon valid valid if i see Valderon in single target I don't go against them. I don't go against them because I don't have Valderon and I, I'm definitely not going to be able to go against one. Now, as for AoE and anti-air, Ingrid domination, guys. I tell you, I see Ingrid everywhere. I bet you I, I go into my arena right now and I'll see Ingrid right now. Watch this, guys. Watch this. I go to my arena. Boom. I'm going to tell you. So, first one. Oh, only two. Only two out of five has Ingrid, but... Let me tell you. Let me tell you, Ingrid is very popular. I lost to an Ingrid team, actually. I lost to this team. This team is really good. This team is really good. Wait, how did I lose to my own team? This is my team. Oh, they do have Ingrid uh, A1. That might help. But yeah, guys, it's just crazy right now. So the next comment we have here, guys, is Mortar Mike. And uh, he said, Ingrid, certainly. Because I always, okay, I outright avoid these team in many cases. They have a few instances where I beat them, but it's usually they aren't geared or they aren't very well organized slash planned. They can be beat, but man, it's a hassle too. Mortal Mike is also a great content creator. If you guys don't know him yet, please go and check him out. Great content creator, great vibes. Please leave him a subscriber. He's a really good community person, guys. Kratos here, guys. He said she is broken. Before her, I felt like Valder 1 chaotic teams were more terrifying than some Praetis team. Really, it depends on who with them. I, I also agree with that part as well. Uh, very well said by Kratos. Ronald Fuels says, Ingrid is more toxic than Warriors was for the game. Damn, damn, that's, I think that, that's the comment I was talking about, guys. That's actually pretty crazy. Then we have here, guys, Lee Cook, Night Gaming 8071. They said, Praetis has an overpowered Lord skill. Okay, that's really good. Uh, that's very true. They think Hatsut is balanced, in my opinion. I, I don't think Hatsut is balanced. Uh, she has low cost. She has high, insane damage. Very bursty. I believe Gear Dungeon 5 requires her. So I don't think she's balanced. I, I feel like she's a little bit on the OP side. But let's see what they said next. Ingrid is the bane of AoE mages and anti-air. Yup, exactly what I've been saying. And Valderon is a OP unit in a balanced faction. Interesting. They think Valderon is a OP unit in a balanced faction. I think their faction is actually pretty strong. And then right here, another content creator, guys. Russell. Russell. I'm not sure if I'm saying this right. But he is actually my guildmate. And he's my guildmate. And he's also a content creator. So please check him out. Please give him a subscriber. He said Zalazar. <laughs> so uh, it's not even on the list. Zalazar. 
I uh, I don't know why would he said Zalazar, but I I feel like Zalazar has been dethroned to be one of the top fighters now because so many new fighters have came out. He kind of got like I want to say I don't want to say power crap, but he's not as strong like he used to. But yeah, that's all the comments in my poll, guys. Thank you guys all so much for replying and voting. I, I actually really enjoy doing these. I will have more questions for polls, so please subscribe so you guys get this. And you guys can participate in this community thing. You guys are great. You guys are amazing. You guys are awesome as always. Please, please, guys, hit the subscribe button. Thank you guys all so much for watching. You guys are great. You guys are amazing. You guys are awesome once again. Until next time, guys, let's all strive to become great together. And yeah, peace.